Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, covering local initiatives, happenings, talents, and trends. I'm your host, Bara Abdullah, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personalities from around Bahrain. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this one's for you and definitely for everybody who's into changing the way they live and their lifestyle. Our next guest is all about helping you achieve your ultimate potential and full healthy being. Joining us in the studio is a certified yoga and wellness coach, Antra, as she shares her holistic journey, passion, and contributions. Well, good evening, Antra. How are you? I'm very well. Good evening, and thank you for having me. It's oh, an absolute definitely. pleasure. I mean, I'm loving everything you've been doing, went through on your Instagram account, and you've been pretty active. Thank you. And I would say, like we just mentioned, holistic. Yeah, holistic. I love that. And one of the things you've been pretty much helping us with is showing us the way and all of that on your Instagram. But before all of that, tell us more about you. Um, actually, my yoga journey, um, since childhood, I have done quite a lot of fitness activities, but I was never trained uh, formally on any sports. Okay. And then um, uh, when I started working, I joined aviation industry. Ooh. And I was, I was uh, flying actually as a flight attendant. Okay. So initially, everything was very nice, rosy, and I was enjoying a lot. But when time passed, I started to get tired and exhausted. Mm. And you know, it is a very, very challenging job. So I really, really started to get um, I mean, tired, basically, okay. and demotivated. So and I started looking for information how to stay positive and uh, okay. you know, energized and focused. Um, although I was, al I was doing uh, yoga before, okay. but I didn't really know so much about it. And 10 years ago, I decided to go for my teacher training course. And um, during this training program, something really changed in me. And okay. I came back with a new, new me. Mm. And, and I started enjoying everything. I was focused. I really, really uh, stayed energized at all time. And also, I could really bring my focus, you know, okay. no matter how stressful the work is or the situation. Um, and then I there was never look back after that. That's so this it, is right? how it just started. Wow, so pretty much flying all over the world, you know, and find positivity and keeping yourself motivated pretty much was the spark for you to find positivity and a new lifestyle. Yes. And that was the start of your journey in yoga? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. And I decided that I would be on this path and I would like to share this with my fellow members because what I have benefited from and I'd like to share this with others. So that's wow. how I just stayed. Wow. You know, I've been telling a lot of people and just even before uh, the interview as we just had a talk with people having, let's say, psychological issues, whether it's ADHD, bipolarism and other stuff, I've been telling everybody that yoga will help. Yes, absolutely. It will slow down absolutely. your thoughts. It yeah. will make you more, again, the word is holistic. Yeah. And you more awareness around. Yeah. So to people, they think yoga is only a lifestyle, but it's more than that, right? It is actually quite wider than what we see. It's just not about just bending your body. It's quite mm -hmm. wider. I know just by regulating your breath, you can just have profound experience in your life. Mm. You can bring focus, you can feel healthier and also feel encouraged, you know, eh? no matter what situation or circumstances you are undergoing. So you'll be able to bring your focus back with All this right. practice. Amazing, amazing. Some of the things you do as well to help a lot of women, you know, in the maternity sessions, what do you do there post? and pre, what happens there? Yeah, so um, the months of carrying a child are very, very important in right. a woman's life, you know. Pregnancy is the time where the woman undergoes a lot of changes, mm -hmm. physical and emotional changes. So also she's engaged in creating another human being, you know, not merely physically with, with her emotion and her spirit. Yeah. Wow. Um, so yoga practice will help to have the healthier pregnancy and the healthier delivery as well. So uh, the same cycle continues after the delivery. So she would undergo a lot of um, uh, different, different types of emotions. So the yoga practice will help her to stay calm and poised. 
And also, she can come uh, get rid of quite a lot of, um, uh, I mean, complications such mm. as um, uh, stress and anxiety, for example, or backache or overweight uh, and stretch marks and a lot of these uh, you know, um, conditions she could be able to overcome with mm. the practice of regular uh, yoga. But uh, also if somebody has never practiced yoga in life and wants to start during her pregnancy, it's the best time to okay. start. Yes, Amazing. absolutely. You know, uh, with you saying all of that, I remember a case uh, with one of my friends. Mm -hmm. So his wife, after she delivered, she went through the post-pregnancy depression. Yeah. So they didn't know she had it yeah. and it went really bad. Mm -hmm. So she went to a psychiatrist and all of that. She took some pills, mm -hmm. but still she wasn't really balanced until somebody recommended yoga to her. Wow. She found balance again. And I'm like, what is this? It's just magic. Great. Breathing and all that kind of exercises that takes place. So what you're doing here, you're saving lives, really. Um, yeah, I mean, I won't say I'm saving lives. I'm just here to just guide you a little bit, but mm. you know, we are, we all know most of the things really. You're being humble right now. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Definitely. You know, <laughs> as I would like to take this opportunity, mm -hmm. you're here, right? Uh, yoga has a lot of, I say, breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. Can we do one right now for 30 seconds? Yeah, so it's going. Let's go. Yeah, we'd we'll love that. Maybe if everybody right now watching the show, even behind the scenes, maybe they can join us, right? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Let's go. Please um, sit straight, back relaxed. Back relaxed. Chin parallel to the grind. Mm -hmm. Bring your awareness to your heart chakra. Now slowly inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Again, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more time. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Now you may slowly open your eyes. And How we're back feel? again. I feel better. Thank you so much. I forgot all my questions. What yes, so <laughs> this is actually one of the many pranayamas. So pranayamas are the breathing exercises. This is one of mm. uh, the pranayamas which is called yogic breathing. But there are a variety of pranayamas that we practice in yoga practice. And also pranayama is the most important part of yoga practice. Mm. Amazing, amazing. Even right now, behind the scenes, we have Ali right now telling me, man, this is an amazing exercise. You want to give it a try. <laughs> After this, we're going to have the entire team taking Definitely. a breathing exercise, you know, because right now it's like, we want to take part. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Now, you being a yoga instructor, I'm sure like there's a lot going on, right? Yeah. But it, you change a lot of people's lifestyle. How does that, ma that make you feel? really, being part of other um, people's lifestyles? Actually, it makes me feel wonderful because yoga is not something that you just do one day and you'll finish. It's a journey, mm. so you continue. When people come and, and when they feel great about themselves, this is like blessing for me. You know, that's my constant effort. Mm. So after the yoga class, how you feel about yourself, you know? So wow. this is what people feel, and you would eventually be able to wow. in, a, in a state where you'll just be enjoying the moments, you know. Amazing, amazing. And it's really important for you, right, as an instructor as well? Yeah, I mean, the most important part for me as a yoga instructor is just to make the um, practitioners feel comfortable, mm. you know, uh, make them uh, learn how to listen to their body. Okay. and also um, make them feel comfortable on the mat, you know. As a yoga instructor, it is not important for me to show how much I know about this practice or how much I know about an asana. But for me, the most important part uh, of uh, this practice of, the, of teaching is that how I make them feel comfortable on the mat because there are practitioners I get, like um, beginners practitioners or advanced practitioners, you know. And so when they come to the mat, they, I would like to make them feel encouraged so that they look forward to the next class and continue mm. this practice. Mm. In a class, for me, mentally, I, I would be on the other side on the mat. You know, okay. I, I would come to that level of there so that they, they, they enjoy the class completely and continue amazing. this journey. Amazing, amazing. I mean. I think you were one of the blessed ones and lucky ones pretty much to actually took that leap of faith from aviation 
yeah, heading to the holistic <laughs> world of yoga and finding yourself and pretty much touching other people's lives and guiding them, as you said, to a better lifestyle. I mean, that's, that's a superpower right there, I mean, definitely. Now, you've been telling me about pretty much helping people and guiding them with yoga. How about right now we take a little break as after this, we're going to take you to tell us what to do as your favorite yoga physician. Sure, All I right. love that, yeah. Definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back as after this, we're going to do some yoga. Stay tuned. And ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with some yoga demonstrations. So Antara, what's going to happen right now? So uh, now we are going to practice warrior two pose. Warrior. A uh, warrior in Sanskrit's name is Vidabhadra Asana. They have very long names mm -hmm. and they're all the asanas have different, different variations. So what we are going to practice right now is the warrior two, okay? So please bring our feet apart. Right. Am I doing it right? Yes. I'm not going to crack my back, right? Turn your right foot to the right side. Okay. Or you may face the side, no problem, or your left foot, okay? Turn right. your right one of the f one of the feet okay. on, on, on one side. Sure. Okay, turn your right foot to the right. Bring your hands to shoulder level, body remains straight. Inhale deeply. With exhalation, slowly bend your knee and look at your fingertips over the arms and keep breathing. Keep breathing and release. Great job. Oh, wow. How do you feel? I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew I need that my body needs a lot of workout. You know? What was that name again? Vida what? Vida Padra Asana. I need some practice with that. Definitely. Yeah, you'll certainly. But, but it'll be okay. That is just one pose out of so many, yes, right? Yeah. Amazing, amazing. There are many, many asanas, many variations of each asana. Mm. Mm. Well, any last words to your viewers? Well, there is a never late to practice yoga. There is no time, no barrier, no age for yoga. The moment you uh, feel like practicing yoga, that's the right time to practice yoga. And please continue in this journey and please take at least five minutes for yourself every mm. day and practice breathing exercises. And you will have remarkable experience in your life. Amazing, amazing. I couldn't say it better myself right here, ladies and gentlemen. That was an interview with Antara right here on Bahrain Now. Ladies and gentlemen, to a pretty much hot topic taking place right now, mining, blockchain, cryptocurrency. A lot of people right now, they want to get into mining different kind of tokens, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other tokens in the crypto world. To tell us more about it in a technical term is going to be the Regional Business Development Manager from Falcon, Mohamed Gambar. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Well, how are you today? I am fine, and you? Pretty much very busy, aren't you now? Yes. Getting all these calls and everything just to pretty much understand what is going on in the blockchain world, I guess. Yes. So now everybody's talking about mining, right? I mean, we're talking about from kids, YouTubers, up to pretty much big people in authority. Everybody wants to pretty much get into the mining world and blockchain. So what is mining? Mining is validated information what that has been transferred from peer one to peer two. So it will double check the transaction uh, uh, that has been transferred the proper way from the both uh, peers. Amazing, amazing. I mean, what's going on right now from what I understood as well, from what you said, a lot of people pretty much will send transactions, like you said, or even contracts or information. Yes. So miners, for, to rephrase it, is they validate everything from one peer to another. Yeah, exactly. And everybody right now is pretty much validating a lot of transactions on yes, the blockchain. Exactly. Yes. Like I'm talking about everybody, whether it's a GPU or pretty much a specialized machine, I guess. Oh, as ASX machines. Oh, wow. So yes. there is a specialized machine just for the mining process. Exactly. And everybody's just out there for the rewards. Yes. Wow, wow. But there are different kind of minings, I would say? It is four, four types. Four types? Yes. It is the uh, first one, of the most popular type. It is proof of work, then proof of stake, 
uh, proof of uh, space and proof of connect. Oh wow! So now I heard a proof of work, which everybody's getting into right Bubble now. Bubble, most you know? popular, yes. Which yeah. pretty much go to the Bitcoin blockchain, you know, and validate all the information over there from one peer to another, yeah. and you get rewarded with bitcoins at this point, right? Now that's proof of work. Proof of work, yes. Amazing. Now, what is proof of stake? Proof of stake, whatever you have more tokens in the network, you will get more rewards. Example? Same like Ethereum network. Ethereum is proof of stake. Yes. So the more Ethereum you have, you will get more rewarded. Rewarded in the network. For holding that amount of Ethereum and then you can validate all the transactions. Exactly. So it's a numbers game over there. In this time, you should always hold your position in the network. Amazing, amazing. So that's proof of stake. Yes. Make sure you have enough to hold your position to pretty much become a validator on the blockchain. So what about the proof of connect? Yes, proof of connect, there's like many routers. You should have like to put these routers in uh, several spaces and to make sure you're, uh, you are doing uh, connection in the proper way during the network. Okay, so the proof of connect is when you have different routers, in different space and different dynamics, the more you connect, the more you have more validation processes yes, and exactly. opportunities. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, it's a different type. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. pretty much. This world is just a bit too overwhelming. Now, you mentioned as well proof of storage. Yes. What is that? This type, you should have more space in your hard disk. You, for example, you have one PC with many uh, pieces of uh, hard disks. And the system will generate a blocks in your uh, hard disks. Uh, depend on that, each block you has been generated in your uh, PC it will be logged into the lottery system. A lottery system? Yes. It's not like uh, mining or rewards. Okay. No, not like uh, rewards, how much you will do, how much you will get. Okay. And this type, you, whatever you have more blocks, you will get more tickets for your lottery. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so pretty much uh, every block will hold a ticket and each ticket is entitled for me to go in a lottery. And yes. if I win the lottery, I validate the transaction and then get rewarded with whatever token Yes, does the exactly. proof of storage. The proof of storage, yes. Now, okay, thank you so much for all the mining proofs and types, mm -hmm. but why is Bitcoin such a popular thing going on right now? The value is a bit too much and everybody, I mean everybody's getting into it right now. Like everybody's like, okay, I want to mine Bitcoin. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> we don't even have a PC. Well, I'll, I'll mine some Bitcoin. So now for I understand, everybody gets rewarded with Bitcoins for their work on the blockchain to validate transactions. Why is it so high? Because the having of this type of uh, mining it will be coming soon. So you, you're talking about having of the rewards of the validation for the mining. Exactly. It is every two, 210,000 blocks, mined blocks, you will get having session. Of the rewards itself? Yes. Okay. I am still learning here. There's a lot going on. And you're just very calm, very casual about it. Mm. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now to another topic, pretty much we're going to end this talk with it, which is NFTs. What is that? NFT is non-fungible tokens. Uh, in this type, you can sell a product in a virtual work, um, but for one copy only. Mm. So I can sell, for example, uh, arts, I can sell uh, musical uh, topics, anything in a virtual uh, world in one copy. So there's only one copy of everything pretty much been tokenized on a certain blockchain. Like I would say, NFT is pretty much as famous in Ethereum in different blockchains. Yes, ERC20. Let me ask you this. Can this interview be NFTized or tokenized? Yes, yes, can be. And we can sell this interview? Yes, you can. How much can we sell this interview for? You can, uh, you can start from 20 Ethereum and above. 20 Ethereum? Yes. I don't need this job anymore. <laughs> I can just, that's it, be an Ethereum holder and just mine Ethereum. If this interview is going to get me 20 Ethereum, Yes, it should be. <laughs> all right, awesome. I think it's going to be enough for me and everybody in the crew of Bahrain now, all together. We're going to share everybody yes, some yeah. goodness <laughs> of Ethereum. Now, whew, I think the more we're going to get into this, the more I'm going to get more confused. But there is a lot of wealthness and there is a lot of wealth and there's a lot of thing going on over here. What is your advice, last word to your viewers? My words, I advise everybody to, to be involved before they miss their chance in this world to get in right now yeah should be should be so it's not a hype it's an adoption actually adoption خلاص. yeah this is the uh, future amazing mm -hmm. amazing well Muhammad, this has been definitely a very insightful talk learning about the different 
uh, I would say proof of works, stake, connect and storage, right? Yeah, storage, yes. Different kind of minings. I'm sure there's way more to talk about, but I think for now, for our show, for people watching this, this has been a good brief, I would say. Yes, well, just initial. And you never know, this NFT, this interview could be an NFT in one of the blockchains, and we're gonna share the profits, how about that? <laughs> should be. Awesome. Should be, yes, yeah, should awesome. be. Well, thank you so much, Mohammed, for being with yeah. us right here on Bahrain. You're most now. welcome. Appreciate it. Well, you heard yourself, do not miss the chance, get in, learn more about the blockchain, and pretty much you never know, it could be a life-changing moment. All that took place in an interview with Mohammed right here on Bahrain Now. Ladies and gentlemen, from wooden coasters and hangars to keychains and more, our next guest is Sara Janahi, founder of Art Me Not, to tell us more about her art. Well, good evening, Sara. How are you? Hi, good evening. How is everything? Good. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm Definitely. really happy to be here. It is a great pleasure. I mean, going through your Instagram account and seeing your beautiful art, it's like, whoa, she's got something going on here. Thank so you. tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so uh, I've been uh, drawing and painting since I was a little girl mm. and I liked it and it uh, grew up with me like uh, it became my passion and since then I've been drawing on many uh, surfaces, mm. uh, on uh, wallets, on canvases, uh, drawing wow. papers, also I painted on my own guitar. No, no way! Yeah, <laughs> that's why uh, I tried to uh, paint on wood. Okay. And that's why uh, it uh, came up. I came up with this idea, mm. and I liked it. Amazing! So different surfaces. They, no, they're not all the same, right? I mean, each surface has a different kind of coloring. Yeah. Like a wallet will be different than a guitar, than a coaster, than wood. Exactly. So you pretty much experimented most surfaces. Yeah. What the about? only thing maybe left is my wall. I didn't paint on it here. Yeah. I was just gonna ask Planning you, what about walls? <laughs> <laughs> Planning to do that in the future. As a graffiti artist or? No, just uh, normal. Uh, I, I'm not expert with graffiti, so I'll maybe uh, do some painting on it. Okay, okay. That's not bad at all. Let us Thank know you. how that goes, definitely. So what is your favorite surface to actually paint on? Uh, I must say the canvases. Canvases. They feel like different, uh, different feeling. Mm. You enjoy them uh, very much. Okay, yeah. what kind of material do we have to use for all of that? Uh, for the canvases? Mm. You can use many different colors, like uh, water colors, like uh, acrylic, oil colors. Oil, oil, oil colors is the hardest, maybe. Mm. But the rest uh, uh, are, the e are the easy colors, yeah. Okay, what about the coasters? Coasters are also um, sometimes difficult, sometimes easy, but it's enjoyable also. Okay, I can see there's a lot going on here. You had Squid Game, of course. <laughs> of course, it's becoming <laughs> Following popular. the trend, let's go with that. <laughs> SpongeBob, oh, my son will love that. <laughs> Bob and Bahrain, you have a happy birthday. That's like, I like the pop art going on over there. And I forgot, what is that? Remind me. Uh, Rick, and Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Pick a Rick. And that's from the Miyazaki anime. Uh, Totoro. Totoro. Yeah, wow. my name you got is a lot going on. You watch <laughs> anime as well? Yeah, of course. No way, no I way. Like you know, maybe you can do us a Naruto maybe next time. I'm a fan yeah. of Naruto. Of so. course. Let's Why go not? with that. Let's yeah. go with that. So now, let's say for one of the coasters, how long does it take you to make one? Uh, it usually me takes me like uh, two to three days, mm. not uh, more than that. Uh, okay. Either it was maybe complex or difficult, it takes mm. me more. But uh, on average, two to three days. Okay. Do you customize certain orders for customers? Sometimes they will ask you, like, hey, I would like to have a certain art to it. You okay with that? Yeah, of course. Uh, I can customize based on what they uh, uh, want. I, I've already customized some pieces okay. and they've uh, got it as orders. Okay. And they love it. Amazing. I'm sure they would. Why would they not? <laughs> wow. Wow. So, coasters, keychains, wallets, and pretty much maybe a wall. Yeah. One of your walls at, at your place, <laughs> maybe one at your room, maybe we yeah. can see that. And a guitar. So, if I bring you my guitar, will you actually paint on it? Of course. What do you have in mind? Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. Not yet, but I'll let you know. Sure. But you, you can actually take orders for guitars as well. 
maybe I'll consider that. Okay, well, that's a new idea for you to consider, yeah. that's for sure. Thank you for that idea. Um, it's <laughs> actually all yours now, <laughs> it's all yours. So what's the future plan for Art Me Not? Yes, uh, so I'm planning to uh, widen up my uh, collection. I'm doing right now some specific uh, pieces. So I'm planning to do some maybe bookmarks, some, uh, you know, the jewelry boxes. Okay. Also maybe uh, add some paintings from my own. Okay. Maybe take orders on paintings. Okay. Yeah. So make it like a bigger business, I would say. Yeah. When did you decide to make this a business? Yeah, uh, I started this like a year ago in okay. October. Okay. And since then I've been going. What sparked the idea of taking your art into a business idea? Uh, like I said, I've always liked art. I've always uh, enjoyed it. Okay. Became a passion for me. So I, I had an idea like, why don't we make it like a business and okay. also enjoy it at the same time? You're right. And it uh, got me this art me not idea. Your passion pretty much becomes your money maker. Exactly. Art me not. Who thought of that name? Uh, it was uh, basically uh, referring to a flower. Okay. It's called Forget Me Not. Forget? Okay. Yeah, that's why it came Art Me Not. Well, that is very creative. Thank it was you. like Art Me Not. It's like a Shakespeare kind of brand, too. It's like Art Me Not. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, that is beautiful. No, you've been holding to that wooden, um, I would say, art. Yeah. What is that? What's happening there? So I wanted to uh, make this uh, piece for okay. the show, especially. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's like a gift. So this There you go. <laughs> There you go. I, that I is, hope you like it. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. It has everything. Oh, well, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Can, Thank you. Can, can I have it? Yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. It's on wood and it looks elegant. It looks beautiful. This is all done by Sara Jana here right now. Art me not taking place right here. This is beautiful. This Thank is beautiful. You so much. Thank you so much for You're this. Welcome. I mean, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, of course, with your future plans, expanding the business and just going bigger, maybe pretty much going regional, maybe international. I you hope can't so. wait for that. Yeah, for You're sure. You're going to make it happen. Just keep going. I'm sure for that. So, any last words to your viewers? Uh, so, I would say maybe uh, don't uh, stop. Uh, following your dreams and always chase what do you want never stop always uh, even if you make mistakes you will uh, the hard work the hard work pay pays off so amazing yeah. amazing well thank you so much Sara for being with us right here thank on you Bahrain. so much for having me it's definitely a pleasure thank you well ladies and gentlemen do not stop your dream all that took place with Sara Janahi right here on Bahrain now So tonight it's a special event in collaboration with the Italian Embassy. We are proud to have the Divas, which focuses on design and jewellery from Italy, coming to show here at the National Museum in Bahrain. Of course, it's in parallel to Jewellery Arabia exhibition. Um, of course, we're celebrating beauty, we're celebrating art, we're celebrating design and craftsmanship from Italy. We're delighted for these cultural collaborations to take place between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Italian Embassy. The exhibition, if you are going to come and see it, it's divided into three parts. First part, fashion. So the focus of this part is the use of fashion jewelry as a vehicle to um, to broadcast uh, the brand identity of the fashion brands. So you will see in this part uh, the very well-known fashion brands uh, of the Italian fashion system. 
So from Ferragamo to Prada, from Marni to Crizia, and you, just to name few, and you will discover them from the 60s, so coming from the Dolce Vita, passing through the Preta Porté, and finally reaching the new millennium. The second part is craftsmanship. So craftsmanship is about the producers, so the quality and the well-made of Italians. And then lastly we have the designers, so the creativity of the designers of the new millennium who experiment with techniques and materials. Well, I actually, I just arrived from London. I live in London and I'm visiting Bahrain. There is a, a big conference called the Manama Dialogue and I was invited uh, by Her, by her uh, Excellency Sheikh Hamey and, and uh, Sheikh Hala. And I'm delighted I was able to come to such beautiful place to begin with and beautiful jewelry. I, I was very impressed with the jewelry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the finish line. A huge thank you to all of our guests for joining us tonight. And another huge thank you to you watching us at home. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. We love hearing from you. This was Bara Abdallah. Till next time, Bahrain. Goodbye and God bless.